Californian, born and raised. But for a time, in the mid-90s to the mid-2000s, I lived in New Orleans, Louisiana. And going through the middle of New Orleans, they got what they call Interstate 10. Now, uh, out here we call it the Santa Monica Freeway. But out there it's called Interstate 10. And if you take Interstate 10, a little ways uh, west to Baton Rouge, about a third of the way, and go north on Interstate 55, well, you'll pass a little town called Tickfaw, Louisiana. Now, Tickfaw, Louisiana, like many other small towns like it, are very proud of their traditions. Cockfighting was still legal in Louisiana back when I lived there. But it was frowned upon in polite society. It wasn't any place you'd actually consider going, especially. But I'm here to tell you that a cockfight saved my life. Tickfaw, Louisiana is a little bit of town about an hour out of New Orleans. Not much there but the family prayer before every plate of rice and beans. I had a couple of friends who were going to attend an extraordinary kind of show. They were going to a cockfight in Tickfaw. And they asked me, did I want to go? I said, I don't know. Well, I usually am a compassionate man. Don't like to see any animal harmed. But I'm also not shy when there's something new to try, although I might be alarmed. What's the atmosphere, smell? Where is it held? Curiosity got under my skin. Did I want to see a cockfight in Tickfall? Well, maybe not, but count me in. Well, six months before this, I had met a young miss. All in all, things were going pretty well. If push came to shove, I'd say that we were in love. Her feelings were harder to tell. But we had both made the promise to always be honest. And I was going to put that to the tests and tell her about the cockfight in Tickfall. It was a dicey proposition at best. I pulled up to her place, put a smile on my face. I was trying to keep my poise. I said, if we're not busy tonight, I thought that I might go out with some of the boys. She said, oh, where are you going to go? Oh, little place you don't know, an hour north of here, more or less. Are you going to a cockfight in Tickfall? I said, uh, well, I might be, yes. That was a pretty good guess. She really blew her fuse. That's animal abuse. Then I thought of something smart to say. Well, Ernest Hemingway writes about going to bullfights. Yeah, well, you're no Ernest Hemingway. I said, fine, let's forget it. Forget I ever said it. Argument's over. You won. I won't go to the cockfight in Tickfall. But by then, the damage was done. Well, she was judge and jury and unleashed her fury for a crime I didn't even commit. I was heartless and cruel. How could she be such a fool? I had to get out of there. Lickety split. As I turned to flee, she threw a book at me. And take Hemingway with you, too. Go to your cockfight in Tickfall. Then there was nothing left to do. There was screeching and crying and feathers were flying. It's a nightmare that stays with me yet. I never did see that cockfight. But that woman could sure get upset. 
And if you ask me, the truth will set you free. We might have been man and wife if it wasn't for that cockfighting tick fall. A cockfighting tick fall. If it wasn't for that cockfighting tick fall, I would have been henpecked for the rest of my life. Thank you. Thank you, Harriet. Wrote that one in Harriet's class.